Suppose I tell you to draw this isometric drawing in first angle orthographic projection. How will you do it? Before going any further, let me introduce you to some new terms that we will be using. The front view is called the front elevation. The side view is called the N elevation. And the top view is called the plan elevation. Remember this very well. Pause the video and sketch the drawing with all its dimensions. To help you visualize the object, let's see an animation. When you are told to draw in first angle orthographic projection, you will have to draw the front elevation, N elevation, and plan elevation in a very specific manner. The first view that we need to draw is the front elevation. Then the end elevation. And finally, the plan elevation. Here in this example, the N elevation is drawn on the right of the front and the plan elevation is drawn underneath the front. This is how first angle orthographic projection looks like. Of course, there's a structured way of doing it. So without further ado, let's start working. Before drawing the views, we need to find the dimensions of the crate. Pause the video and find the dimensions of the crates for the front elevation, end elevation and plan elevation. Draw a long horizontal line. Draw the crate for the front elevation. Use your set squares to make an accurate drawing. Draw another horizontal line below the front elevation. Leave a space of 40 mm between the front elevation and the end elevation. You can put another value if you want. Draw the crate for the end elevation. Draw a 45 degree line from the front elevation. This line is called the mitre line and we will use it to complete our drawing. Draw two vertical lines from the front elevation. Use the mitre line as a guide to find the plan elevation. Observe well the placement of the set squares. Draw the crate for the plan elevation. We are now ready to draw the views. Draw the front elevation. Draw projection lines to the end elevation. Draw the end elevation. Draw projection lines to the plan elevation. Make sure to use the mitre line. Draw the plan elevation. To complete the work, we will have to draw the first angle symbol. Here is an example on how to properly draw one. But for today, I would keep it simple. Draw the symbol according to these dimensions. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for part 2.